According to a report out of Boston, the New England Patriots are, quote, sniffing around on a Debo Samuel trade this offseason. That's what we're getting into on today's 49ers report. I'm Chase Senior. Appreciate all of you for rocking with us. So with Debo Samuel and these trade rumors starting to get hot as the offseason is in full swing, I just want to start with this. Debo Samuel earned the contract that he got last offseason. Keep in mind that Heading into 2022, he was heading into the final year of his rookie contract, and beyond that base salary of just shy of $4 million, he had no future money guaranteed to him. And considering that he's a physical player, he's been banged up throughout his NFL career, that's why, according to that buzz out there last offseason, he had requested a trade because San Francisco hadn't offered him the contract that he thought he was deserving of coming off a 2021 season in which he was an all-pro and a bona fide MVP candidate. So many times in 2021, it was Debo Samuel who was able to bail this offense out with Jimmy Garoppolo and the stagnant nature of that Niners offense. So I was advocating for him to get paid. I understood where he was coming from, and I thought that the money that the Niners invested in Debo Samuel was worth it, and moving ahead into the future, even coming off a disappointing 2022, they are still going to get good bang for their buck. And I don't think that a Debo Samuel trade to the New England Patriots is all that realistic for the reasons that I'm about to talk about. But as for where this stems from, 98.5 The Sports Hub, one of the go-to radio stations in Boston. They had a conversation and they passed along some of the rumors and the reports that they had been hearing according to some sources around the NFL. And it started with James Stewart who said, Debo Samuel, I heard the Patriots, I got a text message from an NFL talent evaluator that the Patriots are sniffing around on Debo Samuel. Jim Murray then responded by saying, yeah, I mean, the Patriots need a weapon, right? So I think if you're like me, you have some questions as to whether or not the Patriots can find a wide receiver in the draft, hello, Nikhil Harry, given their recent drafting of that position. And Jim Murray continued by saying, Debo Samuel is one of the most versatile weapons in the league. Like, this is a true weapon. As a running back and a wide receiver, the guy can do it all. And look at what he's done to elevate that offense with an eh kind of quarterback in Jimmy Garoppolo. You have got an eh kind of quarterback here in New England, in my opinion, with Mac Jones. You get Debo Samuel here. That absolutely elevates your offense. And Debo Samuel, the perfect Bill Belichick type of player. And Debo has said in the past that, during the 2019 NFL draft, when he was coming out of South Carolina, he thought that he was going to get drafted by New England. Now, we're only getting started on today's show, but I know a lot of the faithful is very fired up about this subject matter. And there's probably some fans who are in the comment section saying, trade away Debo Samuel. So with that, we pivot to this question. It is the poll question for today's show. Should the 49ers trade Debo Samuel? Sound off with your opinions down in the comment section. Give me a T for trade or a P for pass. And if you get hit with that YouTube ad break, scroll on down and get your votes in. Let's continue to move forward with this conversation. And why a Debo Samuel trade is unlikely is because of the money at stake. If Debo Samuel gets traded, the 49ers would have to absorb a $30 million dead cap hit charge. And that's just not realistic to trade him away to eat that salary, regardless of how much the New England Patriots might want him and if they're sniffing around on Debo Samuel. You take a look at his contract base salary to the left, cap hit to the right. In 2023, base salary of $1 million. A cap hit, $8.5 million. So for San Francisco, extraordinary value here in 2023, which is why I don't think that this trade is going to take place because financially, it doesn't make a lot of sense. In 2024, though, the Debo Samuel contract increases in base salary to $20.9 million with a cap hit charge of 28 and a half. 2025 goes down to $16.5 million with the cap hit standing at 24 plus. There's a potential out in that contract after 2024, and he is set to be an unrestricted free agent in 2026. Not only is Debo Samuel a really good player, with how the 49ers constructed this contract, that's why I don't want to see them send away Debo Samuel because 
given the player that he is and the impact that he's had on this offense, he's actually pretty affordable for the high quality of weapon that he is within Kyle Shanahan's offense. Now, the big concern with Debo as we project forward and move forward, it's games played throughout his NFL career. Gets drafted in the second round out of South Carolina, 2019, that Super Bowl season, he plays 15 games, made an immediate impact as a rook, 57 catches, 802 yards, average yards per catch at 14.1, and then in 2020, injuries start to come to the forefront. And because of that, the production goes down. But then he comes back in 2021, was a unanimous first-team All-Pro, a bona fide MVP type of candidate, and had one of the best all-around seasons that any weapon in the National Football League has ever had. Not only was he great catching the football, as since he's come into the league, by the way, number one in picking up yards after the catch as he had 77 grabs for 1,400 yards, but he was great with running the football as well. And then in 2022, played 13 games out of 17. The production did go down because of those injuries and the lack of usage and playing with three different quarterbacks. Still was able to tally, though, 56 catches for 632 yards. Two touchdowns through the air, a couple more on the ground, average yards per catch of 11.3. Now, I don't think that Debo Samuel is going to get dealt, but if he does and whatever happens this offseason, we're going to be covering this 49ers offseason every step of the way. And you don't want to miss our coverage as we're giving you the best content here on YouTube when it comes to breaking everything down on the San Francisco 49ers front. Once we get to 80,000 subscribers, the bosses are going to get me a Jerry Rice jersey. We're going to celebrate. So lock us in for shows coming your way every single day on the San Francisco 49ers. Now, all right, let's go back and kind of reset here. If the desperate New England Patriots do want to trade for Debo Samuel, the price tag has to be high for what the 49ers asking price is going to be. And I don't think that this trade is going to happen because if the 49ers do trade away Debo Samuel, they would have to absorb a cap hit charge and a dead cap number of about $30 million. I want to see the Niners run it back with this current core. The 49ers have been a great team over the last couple of years. Back-to-back -back NFC Championship game appearances, three NFC Championship game appearances over the last four years, and they are so close to breaking through to winning that sixth Super Bowl in franchise history. All the 49ers need is some good luck at that quarterback position. If the 49ers can finally have a healthy quarterback, they can win Super Bowl 58 in Las Vegas in what will be a sea of red at Allegiant Stadium. Brock Purdy just needs to get healthier. If Trey Lance is the guy, he has to stay healthy. If the 49ers have good fortune of having health at that quarterback position, they can win Super Bowl 58 and get on that quest for six. That's why I want to see Debo Samuel on this roster in 2023 because as currently constituted and constructed, this 49ers team is absolutely loaded. That's not just my opinion. That's what the odds makers think as well. All too early Super Bowl 58 odds. 49ers checking in right here at fourth with plus 800 odds. Eight to one to be precise. Right behind the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles who played in the Super Bowl and the Buffalo Bills at plus 750. 49ers checking in at plus 800. Cincinnati Bengals at plus 850. So let's once again circle back to this report from 98.5 The Sports Hub in Boston. Because I do want to bring in another wide receiver into the mix. Because I don't think it's going to get I don't think it's going to be Debo Samuel who gets traded this offseason if a trade does happen. New England Patriots are reportedly sniffing around on Debo Samuel. They really want him. And honestly, I think that he would be a great weapon in Bill Belichick's offense. And they desperately need a go-to weapon in that offense because they've so poorly drafted at that position at wide receiver in the NFL draft. And Bill Belichick covets players who can be a Swiss Army knife. That's exactly what Debo Samuel is. But... If the 49ers actually do trade one of their wide receivers this offseason, it's not going to be Debo Samuel, folks. It could be Brandon Ayuk because the 49ers can't pay everybody. And considering how Brandon Ayuk has developed and how he's grown and how he's continued to get better each and every year that he's been in the National Football League, he's entering year four 
He does have that fifth-year option looming, which the 49ers could exercise to have yet another year of team control. But if Ayuk continues to get better, and in 2023 he once again surpasses what he did in 2022, he could be legitimately a top-five highest-paid wide receiver in the National Football League. Gets drafted in the first round out of Arizona State. 2020, he was really good. Keep in mind that that was the COVID offseason in which there was no preseason, preseason, limited training camp in 2021, started the season in the doghouse, but actually ended up having a really good year. And then in 2022, really solidified himself as one of the best route running wide receivers in the NFL, who's dynamic in the open field, great at picking up yards after the catch, and was the 49ers number one wide receiver as he had a team high 78 catches finally surpassed that 1,000-yard receiving mark to go along with eight touchdowns. And the analytical numbers, even better for Ayuk when you take a deep dive into those statistical figures. Yards after the catch, ranked 19th among all wide receivers in the NFL with 370 yards. Missed tackles forced. He was actually fourth among all wide receivers with 16. First downs, he was 20th with 47. And Kyle Shanahan, the bread and butter of this offense, is actually running the football. So can you imagine what Ayuk could do to an offense that actually prioritizes chucking the football a little bit more? Quarterback rating when targeted, he checked in at fifth. 118 is a great number, and his pro football focus receiving grade was 80.9. And going back to the 49ers, having to look into the future at some of the contracts that they're going to have to pay and where Ayuk might check in, Ayuk could probably fetch you a first-round pick from a desperate team, but can you get a better player back for Brandon Ayuk with that first-round pick than what he can give this offense? I'd like to see the Niners prioritize bringing him back, but it's going to be difficult. They're going to have to restructure some contracts, and if Ayuk does have a big 2023 in store, I guarantee you he is going to demand between $20, $25 million, maybe even more, if the NFL salary cap does continue to increase. All of these players set to really make a lot of money, and going into this offseason, the 49ers are going to have some big decisions to make with some contract restructures because they're going to have to look into the future at some of the players that they do want to prioritize. So to round today's show out, better wide receiver, pure wide receiver, who is it? Is it Brandon Ayuk or is it Debo Samuel? B-A for Ayuk, D-S for Debo Samuel. I actually think Ayuk, given that he was the number one receiver for this team in 2022, and because he's a better pure wide receiver, whereas Debo is the better pure weapon, I'm going to go ahead and type B-A. Appreciate all of you for watching. Don't forget to join the conversation in the comment section. Subscribe and keep it locked here for the best Niners content.